All right, what's going on, everybody? For some reason, I keep getting <laughs> questions about a room tour. So, here we go. All right, so starting on this side, we have my old school laptop, which is now used as a 24-hour farming laptop. It does all the gameplay for me for a mobile game. Um, and as you can see, it just auto-clicked there to click off the menu to saying I'm out of energy. Um, that used to be located right here where that cup is. I unfortunately had to move it because I am just running out of desk space. All the stuff that used to be where the PlayStation now is, is now currently up on that bed. <laughs> so a bunch of stuff in here. Um, right there you can see all the stuff I use for schoolwork. Down there you can see two textbooks and the microphone I'm using. I just... I have the cord wrapped around the back of the desk, so I just pull it up and put it up where that jug of water is whenever I'm streaming. Right there's the TV. The PlayStation has two HDMI cords. You can see right there has two HDMI cords, so that way you can plug it into either the gaming monitor or you can plug it into the TV so you can watch TV if you wanted to. I unfortunately, as of right now, do not have an HDMI cord that is long enough to reach from there because all the plugins for the TV are on this side. To run all the way around all the rest of that to the computer as you can see the cable management is garbage right now but i just got this thing set up um i started at about two o'clock it is currently an hour later than that time currently says is actually six that clock just has not been reset on top of it that flashing thing is the two terabyte or four terabyte hard drive for that playstation all right so Heading into the computer, I think I've shown you guys this before. The glass is not going to open all the way. But right here you can see the AIO kit up there. You can see it's uh, 4 by 8 gigs of RAM. Each one of those sticks is 8. Below that uh, PC cooler is a Ryzen 9 3900X. Down here we have the graphics card. It is an MSI uh, RTX 2080 Ti Lightning. The computer is not currently on a power supply that is enough to power this and possibly even if I went to a two PC build it'd power all of that. All of that inside a Corsair case. Of course all the fans, there are three fans in the front there that you can see. Two fans on top and one fan in the back and then there's just plenty of RGB. It's just not on because I had to turn it off. Alright, um, on to the next thing. So that is the main component of this entire room. Aside from that, right down there you can see it is sitting on so that way it is off the floor um, because there's a fan underneath the power supply that takes in air there. So I don't want it to be sitting on carpet. So we have it on top of a speaker here. Um, runs that length, but that speaker is connected. You can see my dinner down there. Um, an extra jug of water that I had finished and then a weight. <laughs> but going down here we have our sound system. This is connected to the two speakers right there, that one speaker that was over that way, and then there's the other speaker over here that the computer was sitting on. So we have a pretty beefy sound system in here. Um, on to what's next is the monitors. So right here we have, don't mind what's in the background there, we have an Acer um, 4K 144Hz gaming monitor. Um, it is way nicer than the original monitor that I bought, which is right here. This is a Philips monitor, um, 4K, and it is, I think, 60 frames per second. It's pretty bad, to be honest, for gaming anyways. Um, already played on that monitor, and it looks way better by far. Um, replaced the mat to a different mat. We finally got the camera set up there and there. Um, then we have our peripherals, which are just our mouse and our keyboard there. And then starting with, uh, I guess we start with the sound equipment. So, the sound equipment is connected through this red cord to the back of the PC into this guy here. This guy just allows us to be able to convert the audio from the initial input signal to allow it to go into the computer. That's basically all this guy's doing. Um, whenever I'm talking, if the mic was on, around that knob would be lit up. And I'm not quite sure what all these settings do. I've just barely learned how to set this up. I, again, I set this up today and I haven't done a whole lot of research. I just figured out it would work. Got it all plugged in. And it did work. You guys saw the stream earlier today. Um, different, head, different, um, different audio volume stuff. Sorry, I brain's a little bit fried. I've been trying to get a whole bunch of stuff. 
Aside from that, though, I am not getting any sound from my live streams right now. And I think the problem is that all the sound is coming into this thing. Because I plugged my audio cable in here, and it didn't work. So, I'm thinking I might have to get a converter there and plug in headphones through the converter and get my audio from there. I'm not entirely sure. We're trying to figure out what the issue is. Um, aside from that, you can see we have two things plugged in here. These are the two webcams. Um, for some reason, when I plug in these webcams, when I plug them in in the back, because there's still three USB spots in the back that are not being used. Currently, what's it plugged in is the mouse, the keyboard, and the Elgato Stream Deck. Those are the only things taking up the USB slots. Oh, and this guy. Um, so there's still... Oh, and there's an Xbox um, for the... Where is the Xbox controller? I don't know where I put the Xbox controller. Anyways, there's um, a USB um, Bluetooth hub for the Xbox controller to be plugged in. There's still three USB slots, um, and then the two up here, obviously. But for some reason, when I plug these guys into the slots back there, it just doesn't work. Don't know why. Just doesn't. So I plug them both in up here. It works. Magically. I don't know why. Anyways, um, aside from that, we have a nice little cord manager there for the mouse. So that way the cord's not getting caught on a whole bunch of stuff. And you can see the shield in the back there is um, off because I was trying to figure out how to get the audio working. And I plugged in a cord in the back. So I got to pop that back on once I figure out what's going on. Um, aside from that, we have back here, it is a cyber power. The thing is cut off there a little bit, but a cyber power power supply here. Um, and this thing allows us to be able to, basically if the power gets cut off and I'm in the middle of downloading a file, you know how that can corrupt files. It can create a whole bunch of issues. You don't want your power to just be cut off when you have a $5,000 PC, five to $6,000 PC. Um, so this guy actually, let me turn it on for you guys and you can see what I was actually just going to talk about. Oh geez. I just turned it off. I forgot the monitor was connected to that. So the three things that we have connected to this thing is, um, the computer. So that when the power goes out, the expensive monitor and what, oh yeah. And the sound system, which we have plugged in here. Um, so let's turn this guy back on, put you guys over here so you guys can see it. Right there, everything's going to cut back on over there. But as you can see here, we have the input. I think that says input. Is that input? Yeah, the input. And we have our battery. So as you can see, the battery is fully charged because we obviously have power in this room. And you have, you know, USB slots and stuff all right there. I'm still trying to figure out what all this thing can do. But for now, I'm only plugging in three things. It's got enough power slots in the back to where I think you can plug in like eight things. But uh, I really just... I don't really need that much stuff plugged into that. Um, and I also have this extension cord that you guys see down here. It plugs in three things and it's also plugged into the same outlet. So I don't want to overload the circuit that out that outlet is tied to because the rest of this stuff. So we have in the outlet that's back under here, we have the TVs plugged in there. The sound system is plugged in there. The cheaper monitor is plugged in there. The lamp in the back is plugged in there. And the TV and PlayStation are plugged in there. Um, I might have repeated myself, but that's all six things that are supposed to be plugged in there. Um, so yeah, we're drawing a lot of power to this room. And this is the last part of the tour of the room, I guess you could say. This is what actually takes, and you can see it lighting up there, whenever I talk loud enough to actually get detected by the microphone, that's lighting up. And I was probably blocking it the whole time. So me talking, me talking again, you can see it just, it lights up every time um, because the microphone is live. I still haven't figured out how to power this thing off um, aside from unplugging it basically or by turning off the power bank. Um, but yeah, so this guy takes the signal from the mic, which is this kind of connection, comes in back here, plugs in there, and then converts it and to go in through this cord, this little, like, basically like a guitar cable cord. And that's routed all the way back in around to here. So, yeah. Um, that's the crazy process it took to attach a $400 microphone to a computer. So, 
yeah, aside from that, we're still working on trying to get headphones working. That is pretty much the tour. Sorry the whole thing's not up and running, but it's getting, you know, to be 6 o'clock. I gotta go make dinner, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Uh, we still have, like I said, all that clutter that's up on the bed there. And then we have all of the extra manuals, flashlight, and boxes all over there. We have two bags that I'm going to be using as, uh, I don't know, I had a use for them, I can't remember anymore, they're probably just going to get thrown in the trash, and a foam roller. Then in this corner of the room, because this is just an entire room tour, that's another guy's office over there, and a bunch of stuff that probably needs to take, get taken to Goodwill. Um, then we have here all the boxes, so you can see like the boxes for the PC stuff, there's like Corsair fan stuff there, power supply I believe there, motherboard... Uh, the box that came around the Shure microphone. We have the CPU, something else from Corsair there. What is that guy in the bottom there? No, I guess that... Oh, okay, so no, that's the um, that's the motherboard. That up there is the graphics card, Corsair case, Amazon boxes, um, and then the old monitors box up there and then a bunch of old school work so yeah there's just a whole bunch of boxes in here i like to save the boxes because i'm probably not going to be living here forever and whenever i pack it up it's nice to have the original packaging and yeah so and then the guest bed so yeah this is the entirety of the room hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any more questions you know obviously feel free to ask me any questions in the comments uh i'll definitely be down there talking to you guys because it is a Wednesday when I'm posting this, I'm going to be at school most of the day because I do have labs, which push me into, even if I were to rush home from labs, I usually don't get here until about 15 minutes late to starting the stream. So yeah, hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. I will see you guys on the next live stream. Peace.